Welcome. My name is Mohammed Masoud Morsi, and I am a journalist, photographer, and also author, amongst other, The Palace of Angels. Uh, was my last published novel back in 2020. Um, and I'm here today to talk about um, AI and copyright and hopefully um, get you guys to engage in a good discussion uh, in the comments section below. All right. Um, so um, I'll start by talking about copyright. So I've had my own experiences with uh, copyright and plagiarism. And I think that's what worries most writers is that their work will be copied. Now, words can't be copyrighted in the same way you can't copyright a title of a book. Um, does that mean it's right to copy other people's work? Of course not. It's, uh, there are already existing copyright laws in place, uh, both international and national, uh, if you're in Australia. Um, now, how do you go about this if you actually see your work being plagiarized? Well, you've got to get legal assistance and it's a process. And at the end of the day, a good solicitor will ask you, how much is your work worth? How much are you losing by this being plagiarized? I have tried this myself. I have had vision statements for ideas completely just stolen and reproduced. I have had uh, journalistic work taken. I've had writings from papers and I've had tons of photographs just used without permission. Now, photographs are a little bit easier because you can kind of get after people quicker and there are lots of other ways to prevent that from happening. However, a good friend of mine, Stephen Freiheit, who's a portrait photographer in Copenhagen, told me a long time ago, um, look, people are going to steal your work they're not going to buy it anyway. I uh, fully respect that statement. Um, let me know what you think of it down in the comments section. Um, and always uh, press a like, uh, hit the like button if you like this video, and uh, I'll make more videos about other writing topics. Um, so where's the limit? I guess that's the big question. Where's the limit on copyright? We don't really know. I guess plagiarism is to the extent of how obvious it is. It's always been like that. Uh, it doesn't matter what art form, really. You know, uh, once upon a time, there was this thing here. Do you remember this? The cassette tape. <laughs> and uh, if you're old enough, you remember you could put a piece of, uh, of tape on that a, a little bit there. And, and basically, you would have um, an empty tape deck and you would copy other people's work. And then you could uh, take your boom blaster and go downtown and and do whatever you want with it, you know, uh, without asking anyone. Now, obviously when that came out, everyone got very scared, especially in the music industry and said, oh my God, our livelihood is over with and done. That turned out to be wrong. It certainly made things a lot more challenging, but that goes with everything we change in the way we structure our societies and live. Um, do you remember this? So I still use these. Uh, I still use these professionally. Uh, they require a lot more work than digital cameras. And I remember when digital cameras came out, everyone said, oh, they're going to kill photography. Well, they did. And they didn't. <laughs> they just, you know, made it harder to be a uh, professional photographer that could make a living off. I still make a living off being a professional photographer. I still use film. Uh, especially for clients who are willing to pay for the uh, cost of developing film and so forth. Um, so why am I mentioning these? Because they're very similar to AI. Now, I haven't had much um, to do with AI, but I've had a look at it and I've sat with a good friend of mine who's a journalist and we've kind of looked at what can this AI do and what we discovered is there's actually already, uh, which probably a lot of you know already, I didn't know that, um, um, lots of, especially nonfiction books are now published with the help of AI. It is incredibly powerful. As a writer, I am in awe. It can take the most boring task and automate it swack like this. Now, can it write with soul? Some might argue yes. Um, 
I argue it's great for maybe plotting a book, which is tedious work for if you're a writer. I am certainly um, can see the potential in using that for plotting a book. Um, and then people say, yes, but it's using already existing data to do so. So you're taking other people's work. Well, <laughs> uh, come on, let's be honest. Um, the way we do things are often a repetition. It's the same way that um, tradition is a, 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 a repetition or culture is a repetition of tradition, you know, um, and hence why culture is dynamic. We can change it. Um, so are you copying someone's work by using their words to uh, have a program outline your, um, your story? I don't know. If you need the program, if you need AI to do that, well, maybe that's a great tool. Will I be using it? Probably not. I've got over 20 years of experience in writing. I love writing um, as something that is a creative outlet for me personally. And I think that's what's missing in this debate. You know, um, not that it's a debate. We've had a, a bombastic author saying that he will destroy AI in in his own words. Now, I think that's a bit of a statement. Uh, I think considering we as human beings need to be open for change and not be afraid of change, I think we need ways of figuring out how do we embrace this technology and how do we do it in a way that's respectful for those who have chosen um, writing as their profession and their vocation. Um, because that is important. I, I don't know about the legislation part of it. I think that I'll leave you guys again, comment below. Uh, I don't believe in laws that you cannot enforce in the same way as copyright laws. Um, there are lots of laws that we can't enforce and they are worth sweet beep all. Okay, that is my opinion on that. Uh, and I think I'll leave you with the thought of why do we write? Why do I write? I write because most of my stories are based on true life events. Um, it is a way for me to allow a story to live. And in doing so, I do the hardest thing in writing. And the hardest thing, in my opinion, in writing is actually telling the truth in words that you can understand as a reader and that will have an emotional impact on you. Can AI do that? I say it cannot, not yet at least. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a beautiful, peaceful and calm, loving day.